Imagine the kind of shockwaves that spread in the automobile industry when the CEO of Mercedes himself came forward and confirmed that their most secretive and mysterious engine actually exists. For years, people only heard rumors and whispers about it, but now it is official. The Yasa Flux engine is real. Experts are saying this engine is so powerful and so advanced that it could shake up the future of the auto industry. Big companies like Tesla, BYD, and Toyota may no longer feel safe in their position. If this engine is installed in cars, it could change the way we think not only about petrol and diesel but also about today's electric batteries. The question now is, what makes this engine so different? Will it really be the breakthrough the auto world has been waiting for? Or is it just another overhyped promise that will fade away with time? And most importantly, does it have the potential to challenge Tesla's dominance in electric vehicles? The truth is, a technology like this is never born overnight. Behind such a revolutionary idea are years of research, investment, and secret planning. Mercedes knew this from the start. While the public thought Mercedes was simply focused on building luxury electric cars, they were quietly working behind the scenes on something much bigger. The journey of this engine actually began years ago when Mercedes noticed a small but innovative British company called WaySA. This company had been working on a new type of motor called the axial flux motor. Their early prototypes showed that this design could completely change the future of electric engines. Mercedes saw the potential and began supporting WSA until, in 2019, they took full control of the company. That single move was the foundation of what we now call the Yasa Flux engine. Mercedes then poured millions of dollars into research and gave WSA the resources to build and test the engine. Hundreds of engineers worked tirelessly and every detail was kept hidden from the outside world. Even industry experts had no idea what Mercedes was planning. While Tesla was loudly making headlines with new models and bold promises, Mercedes remained silent and strategic. They knew timing was everything. Releasing an incomplete or weak product could have damaged their reputation forever. So they waited, tested the engine under thousands of hours of simulations, and only when they were absolutely confident in its performance did they reveal it to the public. Their approach was simple, say less, do more. But what exactly makes this Yasa Flux engine so special? To explain it in easy words, let's first understand how normal electric motors work. Traditional motors, whether permanent magnet or induction, are usually large, heavy, and shaped like thick cylinders. They take up a lot of space and add extra weight to vehicles. The Yasa flux engine is completely different. It is based on something called axial flux design. Instead of spinning like a bulky cylinder, this motor rotates like a flat disc. Imagine a thin, round plate instead of a heavy drum. That's the difference. This design makes it much smaller, lighter, and more efficient, while producing even more power. That's why Mercedes is calling it a game changer. Another big advantage is torque, the turning force of the engine. To understand torque simply, think about using a spanner to open a screw. If the spanner is short you have to apply a lot of force. But with a longer spanner, the same screw opens easily. That difference in turning power is what torque is all about. The Yasa Flux engine generates massive torque even at low speeds, which means faster acceleration, smoother performance, and a completely new driving experience. This engine is not just another motor, it could be the future. If Mercedes successfully brings it into their cars, it might completely change the balance of power in the electric vehicle industry. Companies that have been leading until now, like Tesla, may face competition stronger than ever before. The auto industry could be entering a whole new chapter, and the Yasa Flux engine might just be the beginning. The torque of the Yasa Flux engine is so high that the car gets instant pickup the moment you press the accelerator. With a normal motor, it usually takes a little time to build up speed but this motor delivers its full power right away. That means a car can go from 0 to 100 km per hour in almost the blink of an eye. This immediate response is one of the main reasons why the engine is being called revolutionary. Another big difference is efficiency. Ordinary electric motors produce a lot of heat while running, which wastes energy and reduces range. The Yasa Flux engine, on the other hand, is designed in such a way that there is very little heat loss. This means the battery power is used more effectively, giving the car a longer driving range. 
For example, if a normal electric car today runs about 400 kilometers on a single charge, the same car with a Yasa flux engine could easily reach 500 to 550 kilometers without increasing the battery size. That's a massive improvement. One of its most impressive qualities is flexibility. Even though the engine is compact, it can be fitted into almost any type of vehicle. Small hatchbacks, SUVs, or even high-performance sports cars. Normal motors are often too bulky and heavy to fit everywhere, but this engine breaks that limitation. For automakers, this means huge benefits. A lighter engine makes the entire car lighter, which reduces the load on the battery. With less strain, the battery size can be smaller, lowering the cost of the car. At the same time, a lighter car gives a smoother, more enjoyable driving experience. The biggest reason people are calling this the technology of the future is that most companies around the world are still relying on old motor designs. Mercedes, with the Yasa flux engine, has shown that survival in the next generation of automobiles will depend on adopting bold and innovative ideas. Unlike traditional motors, this engine combines two key elements, magnetic flux and torque. The balance of these two gives it extraordinary power in a much smaller form factor. The secret lies in its axial flux design. At first, the name may sound complicated, but it's actually simple to understand. Imagine two thin discs like CDs or DVDs, with coils and magnets placed on them. When electricity flows, these discs spin, and that rotation creates power. That's how the motor works. Most of today's electric cars use radial flux motors, where the magnets and coils spin around a cylinder. But in the Yasa flux motor, everything is flattened into a disc. This single change makes it lighter, thinner, and more efficient. Because of this design, manufacturers get more flexibility. They can either use the save space to fit bigger batteries for longer range or keep the batteries small to make the vehicle cheaper. Either way, the consumer wins. Another advantage is that the flat design releases heat faster, so less energy is wasted. This increases both performance and range. For example, if an older EV could cover 400 kilometers, the same model with this engine could go well beyond 500 kilometers. Another huge benefit is the power-to-weight ratio. Traditional motors are heavy and need larger magnets and coils to deliver more power. The axial flux motor, however, provides the same or even higher power while being lighter and smaller. That means a car that once needed a 100 kilowatt motor could now deliver the same power with only a 60 to 70 kilowatt Yasa flux motor. This not only reduces weight but also makes the car more efficient and smoother to drive. When Mercedes adopted this technology, their goal wasn't just to boost horsepower, it was to completely change the way the auto industry thinks about engines. Until now, companies tried to make motors bigger to increase performance. Mercedes proved that a smaller, smarter, and more efficient design could deliver better results. It's similar to the shift from button phones to smartphones. At first, people thought there wasn't much difference. But once the advantages became clear, the whole world moved toward the new technology. This is why the auto industry is buzzing. The Yasa Flux engine is lightweight, compact, powerful, and highly efficient. All four qualities combined make it the star of the future. That's also why Mercedes's announcement has shaken the entire automobile world. It sets the stage for the biggest battle in years. Tesla versus Mercedes. The biggest worry of most EV owners is how long the battery will last and how quickly it will drain. The Yasa Flux engine solves this problem to a large extent. Its design is so efficient that very little energy is wasted. In normal electric motors, a big portion of electricity is lost as heat, but this engine converts most of it into motion, giving the car more speed and range. For example, if a regular EV can run 400 kilometers on one charge, the same car with a flux engine could easily cover 500 to 550 kilometers. In the EV market, this difference is massive because every extra 100 kilometers of range gives a huge advantage to the company. Another benefit of this high efficiency is that the battery is under less stress. Since the motor uses electricity more wisely, the battery lasts longer and doesn't need to be charged as often. This not only saves time but also reduces the overall cost of owning an EV. Users will spend less on charging and maintenance, making it both powerful and economical. The flux engine doesn't just shine on racetracks, 
It makes a difference in daily driving too. Quick acceleration, smooth handling, longer range, and better reliability take everyday driving to a whole new level. Experts are calling this Mercedes engine a new benchmark that will set the direction for the entire automobile industry. That's why many believe the Yasa Flux engine has already won the new game of performance and power. Now companies like Tesla and BYD cannot just rely on better batteries. They will have to focus on motor technology too because customers will soon care most about three things. How long does the car run? How fast does it go? And how much money does it save? Right now, the Flux engine has the best answer to all three. The impact of this technology isn't limited to Mercedes alone. It is already shaking the global market. As soon as Mercedes announced that the engine was real, their stock price went up, and investor confidence grew. At the same time, investors in companies like Tesla and BYD became worried, realizing Mercedes may have created a true game-changer. Global investors always move toward companies with unique and breakthrough technologies, and this engine gave Mercedes that advantage. In the car market, Mercedes already has a reputation for luxury and trust, especially in Europe and America. Now, if they add the flux engine to their vehicles, customers will be drawn not only by the brand but also by the promise of better performance and range. This could seriously impact the sales of Tesla and BMW, especially in the US, where Tesla has long been the leader in EVs. In China, the largest EV market where companies like BYD and NIO dominate, the situation may also change. The Chinese government supports affordable EVs, but if Mercedes starts mass-producing this engine and brings the cost down, they could even compete in the budget EV segment. That would put serious pressure on Chinese automakers. In emerging markets like India, where the EV sector is still young but growing fast, the arrival of Mercedes cars with flux engines could push demand even higher. At first, these cars may be expensive, but people will gradually realize that the extra money buys more range, more power, and better reliability. This will also force Indian automakers like Tata, Mahindra, and MG to work on advanced motor technologies to keep up. The impact will spread beyond cars. In global politics and the energy sector, this could be a turning point. Demand for oil is already falling because of EVs, but a motor this efficient will reduce it even faster. Oil exporting countries will feel the pressure on their economies, while countries producing lithium and batteries will benefit from rising EV demand. Governments may also tighten policies. Europe already supports EV adoption, but with motors like this, they might increase taxes on petrol and diesel cars while giving more subsidies to advanced EVs. Even customer behavior will change. Today, everyone asks about the range of an EV. Tomorrow, they'll ask about the motor, whether it's the old radial design or the new flux technology. That shift in mindset will be the true sign of change. The Yasa flux engine isn't just another car part. It's a step that could reshape the global auto industry. It can influence investors, customers, energy policies, and the very future of cars. Companies that adapt will survive while those that don't may disappear. Still, one big question remains. Will this technology reach everyday people or stay limited to luxury cars? For now, it seems Mercedes will first install the flux engine in their high-performance and premium vehicles. The main reason is cost. As with any new technology, it's expensive at the start. But over time, as production increases and costs fall, it could make its way into affordable cars too. Manufacturing challenges also exist. Building an axial flux motor is very different from making traditional motors. It requires advanced magnets, precise coils, and specialized processes. Scaling up production for millions of cars won't be easy. Another issue is raw materials. The motor requires rare earth metals like neodymium, which are mostly controlled by a few countries, especially China. If demand rises sharply, shortages could occur, raising costs even more. Mercedes will need new suppliers and strong recycling systems to deal with this. As for the future, Mercedes plans to first use the flux engine in luxury sports cars and high-performance models, especially in its AMG lineup. SUVs could also benefit because the motor delivers high torque even in heavy vehicles, making them smoother and more powerful. Sports cars with flux engines could directly compete with Tesla's Model S Plaid, 
while trucks and buses could get more power and range despite their weight. If this technology spreads, by 2030 the flux engine could become the standard for the EV industry, just as lithium-ion batteries are today. Within seven to eight years, even budget EVs could have flux engines. But history reminds us to be cautious. Many times, automakers have promised breakthrough technologies that didn't perform as expected once released. The real test will come when these engines are fitted into everyday cars and driven on real roads. So the question is yours. Do you think the Yasa flux engine will truly change the future of electric vehicles, or will it fade away like other technologies of the past?